Cincinnati, we have a fantastic symphony, we have a fantastic opera, a fantastic ballet. For Cincinnati to also have a classical theater company, it's sort of the fourth leg of that cultural table. And the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company is a resident ensemble theater company uh, dedicated to bringing Shakespeare and the classics to life for audiences of all ages. It's our 20th anniversary season. We produce year-round, and half of the work we produce is the work of William Shakespeare's, and the other half is literary adaptations or contemporary classics. So this season, the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company will become one of only five theaters in the United States to complete the 38-play Shakespeare canon. Now what that means is that we will have produced all 38 of Shakespeare's plays in the 20 years that we've been in existence. Now, only five theaters have done it in the United States, and that puts us in very prestigious company worldwide, along with such organizations as the Royal Shakespeare Company and uh, the Stratford Festival in Ontario. Very rarely do you get to delve that deep into one genius. You get a better understanding of how an artist develops over time, from those very first plays, to him at the height of his genius, to him being experimental in the later years. A lot of companies, um, I think, attempt to complete the canon, but um, financial reality sometimes gets in the way. We have such a loyal subscriber base that has been excited about joining us for a Timon of Athens alongside a Romeo and Juliet that it has been something that's feasible for us to do. I believe that this is uh, extremely important um, for us as a Shakespeare company to accomplish because if we are dedicating our mission, our purpose for being here to producing the works of William Shakespeare, it needs to be all of the works of William Shakespeare, not just the ones that turn into uh, easy box office. What we have found is that every single one of these plays has something wonderful in it. It's been fantastic to see the audience response to it. It's like they're experiencing a brand new play. So even though we're a classical theater company, we've been able to provide our audience with a new experience by producing these lesser-known works. The actors that make up the ensemble at CSC are um, very unselfish performers. They are artists that are interested in the work first and foremost because they know that in one play they're going to be Hamlet and the next they're going to be a spear carrier. It takes a level of commitment that I think is uh, very hard to find. It's not about one show. It's not about one big uh, splash. Um, it's about consistent work um, that uh, creates a relationship with the other actors on stage as well as the audience over time. One of the things that's very special about Cincinnati Shakespeare Company is that we're building a creative class in Cincinnati. We're bringing actors to town and we're turning them local. We're asking people to commit a year of their life uh, to Cincinnati and many of them come, they see the city, they see the organization, they see the art scene in Cincinnati, and they decide to stay. We've brought over 125 actors to Cincinnati, and of that, 80 of them have gone local and are now you know, part of our arts community and our, our city's fabric uh, on an everyday basis. We're not just importing uh, talent for a one night only sort of event, we're bringing people here and we're trying to make the city better with the artists that we recruit. So you have our main stage programming that you see here and that people are buying tickets to every night, but those same actors and those same productions, those are being seen by 30,000 students a year as well. Shakespeare is meant to be seen, not to be read. I know as a, growing up as a student that Shakespeare did not come easy to me, it did not seem to come easy to my teachers, and seeing what a difference there is in live performance versus the word on the page, uh, it makes all the difference and makes Shakespeare accessible. The number of students that are saying that they get it, the number of students that are saying that they like it after they finally see a performance, it's astounding. And all of the people that are involved in education here, uh, it's a passion for them. It's such an important part of what we do here that CSC would not exist without its education wing. The next step for Cincinnati Shakespeare Company to realize its mission, to realize its vision of being a world-class arts destination with a focus on people in Cincinnati is we need a better theater. We're starting to really push against the limits of what we can do uh, in our current facility. What we need is the ability to um, uh, stop turning people away, which we've been doing quite a bit over the last two seasons because we're out of seats, and to be able to provide our artists an opportunity to realize their visions by giving them a little bit more space. It's going to energize the company, and um, I think it's going to raise the profile of the organization as well. 
as a, a Shakespeare organization to be able to say that you were able to take that journey through all 38 of William Shakespeare's plays. Um, it just doesn't get any better than that. People don't understand just how wonderful the complete works of William Shakespeare are. They're not gonna have a lot of opportunities to experience it. I think it's something that uh, a lot of people have on their bucket list uh, if you are a theater enthusiast. If you have an appreciation of theater, if you have an appreciation of cinema, if you love storytelling, there is no better playwright to get involved with than William Shakespeare. And if you can have the opportunity to experience one great artist's complete canon like that, it's going to allow you to better appreciate storytelling of, of every kind.